Hello. In this video, we're going to be discussing the voltage rating of your capacitor. Specific questions that we're going to be looking at are what does the voltage rating mean and can you or should you change the voltage rating of your capacitor when you replace it? For the first question, very simply, the voltage rating, often abbreviate VAC on your capacitor, simply stands for the maximum amount of voltage that you can apply to your capacitor without shorting it out. So let's take a second to develop that theme a little bit further. And as an analogy, I have a piece of 8-2 wire here. Now 8-2 wire means you have one conduit, but two 8-gauge wires inside the conduit. We also have a grounding wire, but for our analogy purposes, we're going to just ignore the grounding wire. If you notice, now 8-2 wire is way too big to run for a light bulb, but let's just for our analogy sake say we're going to run this wire to a light bulb. Whenever you turn on the light switch, you're sending 110 volt out this wire to your light bulb, wherever that is, and then it comes back on this wire to your electrical panel with no measurable voltage at all. But if you'll notice here, these wires, even though the whole conduit is insulated, also have insulation on the wires. Without this insulation, what would happen is, as soon as you turn on the light switch, the electrons or the electric flow would jump straight from this black wire over to the white wire, bypassing the light bulb altogether. This would cause a very rapid transfer of electricity that would result in a lot of heat buildup. And without a safety system, like a breaker, in your circuitry, you would probably start a fire if you did that. To prevent that, they've wrapped these wires with insulation so that the electric can't flow from one wire to the X. Next, it has to flow through the proper channels. Well, your capacitor is, operates in a very similar way. Here's an old capacitor you may find on a motor that you may have. But instead of being filled with insulation, this capacitor is filled with an insulating fluid called dielectric fluid. This keeps the electric in the spots that you want it and prevents it from jumping and shorting out your capacitor. Now, back to our wire here, I don't know if you can see this in the video, but we have a voltage rating on the wire and it's rated at 600 volts. They never anticipate you putting 600 volts on this wire itself. But what they're saying is, in theory, that you could apply 600 volts to the wire and the insulation would be as sufficient to prevent the electric from jumping from one wire to another. But if you applied 800 or 1,000 volts, then the insulation on this wire would not be sufficient and you would still be transferring electric possibly from this black wire straight to the white wire, never reaching your light bulb. The same thing with your capacitor. It also has a maximum voltage rating for which the dielectric fluid that fills the capacitor can insulate. If you go above that rating, it's not going to be able to insulate the fluid properly. In most residential HVAC systems, you're going to be looking at a capacitor with a VAC rating of either 370 volt or 440 volt. Those are the industry standards that you're going to find out on the market. And when you consider that the typical air conditioner operates on 240 volts, that's far below the maximum value of your capacitor. You should have no problems. But I want you to consider a couple other things here. One, heat is the enemy of all resist, uh, insulators. As heat rises, the ability to insulate decreases proportionally. So, as you're running your air conditioner on a hot day and it gets hotter and hotter, the insulating ability of the dielectric fluid becomes less and less throughout the day. So let's consider, let's say that you are in Arizona and you have a 100 degree day. And when it's 100 degrees, of course, your air conditioner is running nonstop, which makes it even hotter. You have to consider that most of the time your capacitor is put in a small metal box that's going to make it even hotter. And unfortunately, the manufacturers, when they wrote 370 VAC on this capacitor, did not test it in those type of conditions. So your 100 degree day, maybe it's 120 in that box, and your capacitor is heating up maybe even further. And as it's heating up, the voltage rating is dropping on your capacitor. It's no longer 370 volt. It may be 300 volt or 275 volt. Add a little age and wear to your capacitor, and maybe even less. Next thing you know, it's shorted out, and you're not cooling at all. So remember, the heat is always the enemy. So the question is then, can you change the voltage rating of your capacitor when you replace it? And the answer is yes. As long as you're going up, you never want to drop the voltage rating of your capacitor. The manufacturer has their own specs, and you can increase it. You can take a 370 volt capacitor, replace it with a 440 volt, a 600 volt or a 6 billion volt capacitor if you can find one. But the thing to consider is, as you're increasing the voltage rating of your capacitor, you're increasing the dielectric fluid that is in the capacitor. 
So if you double the volt rating of your capacitor, you would double the dielectric fluid. There's no problem with that. That would be a great capacitor. But you also now have to have a canister that can contain double the amount of dielectric fluid. That means that your old capacitor and the one you ordered now may have a slightly different size to them. Now, sometimes they simply increase the height to accommodate the extra dielectric fluid. Sometimes, though, especially with round capacitors, they increase the girth. You may have a 2-inch capacitor, but you may order a 440-volt uh, to replace your 370-volt and get a 2.5-inch diameter capacitor. Again, nothing wrong with this, but you may have to get a new capacitor strap for the capacitor. You also may have to come up with some just creative way of mounting it in that control cabinet. So then, now that we know you can change the voltage rating, should you change the voltage rating? Well, let me tell you what the technicians do. Technicians only stock 440 volt capacitors on their truck. No 370 volt capacitors at all. The reason is twofold. One is the inventory. Why stock two capacitors when you can stock one that would do the same job? The second reason is that the increased cost to the consumer is usually one or two dollars three or four at the most when you upgrade from a 370 volt capacitor to a 440 volt capacitor. And for the bang for the buck analysis, it's just better to get the 440 volt capacitor. So what should you do? Do what the technicians do. Get the 440 volt capacitor and make sure that you don't go through this process again too soon. Now if you need a capacitor, remember, visit us at North America, HVAC.com, and we have a wide selection of capacitors to fit all your HVAC needs. We have all sizes, and we also have all voltage ratings. If you want 370 volt, we've got it. But if you want to upgrade to the 440 volt, we have those too. Most of our capacitors are in stock at all times, and most of our orders ship within 24 hours. So again, you can visit us at NorthAmericaHVAC.com, or if you don't know what capacitor you need, drop us an email. You can reach us at info at NorthAmericaHVAC.com. And if you're in during working hours, you can even go to our website, and at the very top of the page, click the button in the middle that says Live Chat, and you can talk to an operator. Just be sure to have either a part number of your capacitor or the brand and model number of the unit that your capacitor came out of. We'll be happy to not only look it up and tell you which one you need, but we'll send you a link directly to the product that you can buy. So good luck with your air conditioner. Hope to see you soon.